For most people, the motorcycle transmission is one of the most mysterious parts of a bike. How does it work? And why do we shift down into first, but then up for the rest of the gears? I'll explain in this video from the MC Garage. The transmission is one of the most intimidating parts of a motorcycle. There are a lot of sprockets, one set of cogs for each ratio in the gearbox. But a transmission's operation is pretty straightforward, and so is its purpose. The whole reason behind the transmission is to provide a range of gear ratios to suit different torque needs and engine speeds. A motorcycle transmission is a constant mesh sequential gearbox. That means the gears are always meshed together and you shift in order, as opposed to in a car transmission where you can stick it in any gear you want. Here are all the components laid out. You have your input shaft, which has the clutch mounted to the right end and is turned by the crankshaft. Then there's the output shaft with the sprocket on its left hand that turns the chain and the rear wheel. Some of the gears are splined to the shaft, but they can move side to side, while others are free to rotate, but stay in place. These pegs are called dogs and they nest into corresponding recesses on adjacent sprockets. So when neighboring gears are slid together, they are locked and rotate as one. That's why we call it shifting gears, because you are literally shifting the gears back and forth on the shafts. And the way those gears get moved around is by the shift forks. There's three of them, and they rest in grooves in the splined gears. At the other end of the forks, you'll notice these little pins. They run in dedicated channels in the shift drum, which is this weird looking thing right here. When you tow the shifter, it rotates the shift drum, which moves the shift forks and shifts gears. But why is first gear down, second gear up? Why is neutral between the two of them? And why is the shifter on the left side of the bike anyway? Let's start with the political reasons, because I think it's pretty interesting that there are regulations stating that the shifter has to be on the left side of the bike and that clicking it up is gonna move you to a higher gear and clicking it down is gonna move you to a lower gear. Those regulations were passed in the 70s and they pretty much served to standardize motorcycle shifting around the world. America was a huge market and manufacturers everywhere conformed. As for neutral being where it is, that is primarily a function of safety and convenience. Neutral could be below first, it could be above sixth, it could even be between third and fourth, but it's located between first and second because that makes the most sense. You only shift into neutral when you're coming to a stop and you're only coming to a stop when you're in the lower gears. Neutral could be located below first gear, but then you might accidentally end up in neutral when you're trying to shift down into first. As it stands, you just keep mashing down on that lever and you'll be in first gear, ready to let the clutch out and pull away from a stop. So there you have it, the basics behind the motorcycle transmission, how it works and why. And if you've got sticky shifting on your bike, you might need to change the oil. As we showed you, there are a lot of rotating, interlocking, and sliding parts in the transmission, and if your oil is dirty, it's not gonna lubricate that stuff well. So, that's it for this video from the MC Garage. As always, leave your comments and questions below. And if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe. Until next time, ride safe.